What's going on, everybody? This is A to Z Sports Cards back at it. Today, we went to the Endicott Card Show. Let's go! All right, so I'm going to take you guys to the Endicott Card Show. Then I'm going to bring you back and show you all the stuff that I brought home with me. All right, ready? Let's do it. I don't do breaks because I like to like open it myself. No, I, mean, I, I have a couple of buddies where it's like I just enjoy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't like the ones that are random. Yo, I got a yeah, long call. It's my birthday week, so I plan, I, yeah, I, plan, I plan on taking advantage of it for a whole week. Is that everything? That's the flyer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I look at the field, it's not a stadium like they make it seem like. It's in a park, but it's, it's, it's nice still, though. First card show. Yes. 
That's like when the I like the Giants. They're they're my football team. Uh, I'm a, baseball. I'm a Red Sox fan, but I wouldn't say I'm diehard. My wife's diehard. I, I catch maybe a couple games a year. She'll watch like several, probably double digit games. I want to go to. Beautiful. They have a card show there. That's on a bucket list. Yeah. yeah. My and wife went to Boston. I'm like, you're not going. You're not going to Fenway, right? Oh no. Why would I do that? Well, the whole town closed down. Nothing goes on. So that's too much. <laughs> Guys have the great light underneath you. Awesome for display, bad for glare. Mm -hmm. oh, well, like when I was going through my singles of guys who didn't pan out, like 2015, 16 guys. Right, right. But right. speculated, like Miguel Sano, guys right, like right, guys right. like that who had like some potential but then wasted. It. Uh, I, I've been clearing out my stuff, and I'm like, oh, ten ten dollar card, five bucks. Uh, you know, hundred dollar card, fifty bucks. It just it's. A lot of stuff too. Like, you're not gonna hit the thirty percent. No. The guys that you hit on though, could be huge. You know? Yeah. It was just making a name, and I'd hold on to it, and then they would just fizzle out. Yeah. Well, Hall of Famers, you're not gonna lose. Them. Now Hall of Famers, yeah, you won't lose a Hall of Famers. But I got like Hall of Famers back to like uh, Pee Wee Reese and you know Whitey Ford and yeah. a lot of the real stuff. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are back. Uh, super fun show. Always a good time to go to the Etika Card Show. I did not know they were going to have one in December. I thought the Syracuse show was going to be our last of the year. Uh, pleasant surprise. Didn't spend a lot. I think I only spent like 120. Um, and if you know me, I usually spend about 200 to 400 at a show uh, to get some guys. The Syracuse one was such a big show that I spent a lot of money there. So I really just wanted to go and film. I didn't film everybody I bought from. Just because of time restrictions and a lot of the stuff being the same stuff every time. Uh, in the new year, I'm definitely going to try to go out and do some more newer shows like Rochester, Batavia, Oneana, maybe an Albany show. A little bit more traveling. Uh, just to re really depends on schedule. But let's go through the cards. So I have it broke down by price. So let's take a look. So first off, the first stack of cards I got, I got for two bucks. Let's zoom in so we take a look. Two bucks for this stack of cards here. So this is a Garrett Cole All-Star Futures game. So this is a Garrett Cole rookie card. Uh, I like this one. It was only a dollar, and it was from Sirius XM, which I have. So I thought that was a little cooler. So that's a nice little refractor from Bowman Chrome. And one of my students uh, got, like, earned a prize, I would say. So I found this card. It was, like, only, like, the only Pokemon card there at the show. So I picked up this card, which was pretty nice. Looking card too. Don't know who this is. A Spy Dops. But still, cool looking card. The next lot, we got some vintage for three bucks. So we have uh, a Jake Scott. So not a Hall of Famer yet. I think he's a five time Pro Bowler, two time All Pro safety. So that was cool. Hall of Famer rookie card of Emmett Thomas, cornerback. Do not believe I have him in my collection. I checked my online uh, catalog that I have. And I don't think I had this one, so this is a cool one to have for the Chiefs. A little off center, but it's nice too. And then an Isaiah Robertson, so another six time uh, All Pro, two time, I think, no, six time Pro Bowler, two time All Pro linebacker. Not Hall of Famer yet, but hopefully in the future, maybe. It all depends. It really depends on, you know, the committee and who's really backing for you as a player. Let's keep going. So this next stack was five bucks. So these are some more baseball cards. These are from the complete sets. They are complete set variations. So this is a Riley Green. I, I thought they were all like little short prints, but if you take a look, it says complete sets right here. So I don't open a lot of 
complete sets for MLB tops and stuff. It's just you get some variations of some cards, some players uh, that are in that set. And if I'll just I'll just buy these for five bucks. So Riley Green is one of them. Jordan Walker, complete set variation again. Uh, Anthony Volpe. Gunnar Henderson, he's the one that really was the first one I saw, so that got me thinking about his complete sets. So that is what sparked this whole deal. Uh, Rushman, and then this was not a complete set, but this was a Grayson Rodriguez rainbow. Not rainbow, I should say. Uh, I'll just say foil. Not rainbow foil, but I'll just say foil because I don't know all the terminology. I don't want to steer you guys wrong. Uh, just a foil. Be a rainbow. I don't know, but I think it's just rainbow from update. A lot of low-end stuff. Wasn't really buying any huge cards, like I said. Um, you know, I spent 120 and it kind of slowly stacks up. This next lot was $10. So, first off, we have a Zaire Wade. And I don't know what I want to do with this. It is um, authentic from Glow. Um, I don't know. I got this for 2 bucks, really. And I don't know if I want to sell it online for 10 or hold it until maybe someday he becomes a well-known player, son of Dwayne Wade. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Let me let me think. It is numbered out of five. Numbered out of like one ninety nine. It's been selling for like two bucks. So maybe like a ten dollar card here. Maybe I'll post that. I don't know. I haven't decided. We have a Mike Mamula, all rookie team. Very nice Hall of Famer. We have a silver of Cam Thomas. I love the National Pride cards. For 10 bucks for all these was a pretty solid deal. Uh, Sam Laporta. I have not bought any Sam Laporta, really. I think I have maybe have one other Sam Laporta card. This is his silver from Mosaic. It is in a pretty, like the case is in rough shape. The card looks so okay. But pick that one up. I don't know, two bucks, we'll see. I hear he's doing really well during fantasy. I think people who watch, like, who do fantasy football know exactly who this guy is um he's been off my radar for a little while and a malachi bronham so i only picked this up because it was a level two from crown uh, from court kings and you really want the level three and fours those can give you some crazy money but for two bucks oh well throw it in throw that in just to make the deal happen here we go we're getting up there in price we're going to the little nicer stuff so this next was 20 bucks this is a sneaky, sneaky find, I think. A Jonathan Ogden die cut from Playoff X's and O's. Really cool. They were coming out with these now, nowadays with, uh, I think he's it's Playoff. I had a Tariq Woolen numbered out of it. But these are really cool cards. And he's a Hall of Famer. So I think that's one of my favorite cards of the day, honestly. This will be up there, too. AJ Terrell Genesis from Mosaic. It's also his Mosaic um, college parallel, too. So that's kind of cool. For 10 bucks. We'll see. I think he's been a Pro Bowler once. Really solid player for the Falcons. Dante Johnson, two-time Pro Bowler for 10 bucks. This is his contenders. He plays for the Steelers. Did not have any Dante Johnson or Deontay. Is it Deontay? Deontay Johnson autos. And then this was a sneaky one. I don't know. Um, I believe this is an in-person auto for uh, Cedric Mullins. Has 30-30 club. And uh, 2021 Silver Slugger. So this might have been an in-person autograph. But for 5 bucks, I'll take a chance on it. And it's kind of cool. I have a Cedric Mullins autograph in my collection already. He has been an all-star. He's on a pretty solid team with the Orioles. So for 5 bucks, that's pretty. That's a pretty cool card. His usual Topps Gallery is a sticker card. So I don't, I don't live that far from uh, Baltimore. So it's pretty... Uh, Plausible. We'll say plausible that someone went down and uh, got this in person. But I'll take a shot. If not, it's just a cool card. Two more stacks left. I really did not buy a lot. This next stack was 40 bucks. Everything was 50% off. Uh, this was run by the... Uh, well, I bought these from the show's runner. So who organizes everything. So really cool. We have a uh, Byron Young for the Rams. Had a good couple of games. He was on the Defensive Rookie of the Year watch list for a little while. I don't think he's still there, but he might be. Donovan McNabb from Playoff 99. I have the Kurt Warner. Now I have the Donovan McNabb. I just think these are cool-looking cards. And for 3 bucks, I'll take that. 
We have a Gibbs. It's a regular base Gibbs who's doing really well for four bucks. I almost bought a Gibbs uh, collection on Facebook, but the guy wanted um, two, three times comps for it, and I'm not a Lions fan, so I don't really need them. Chris Bryant tops Chrome for five bucks. Pretty cool looking card there. Don't have a lot of Chris Bryant. I have a couple, but not this one, so that'll, that'll add to his rookie box. Jaron Jackson Jr. He might. I think he's two-time block champion for six bucks for a patch. Did not have this one, to my understanding. I do have some Jaron Jackson cards, but I don't think I had this one. Jimmy Butler rookie card. So from Panini. I think this is from yeah, Presti uh, Brilliance. This is Brilliant, so that's kind of cool. So Panini Brilliance for $6 for Jimmy Butler. Some people are speculating that he'll be a Hall of Famer. I don't know. Uh, I know he's a solid player right now, but don't know if he'll make the Hall of Fame or not. This is a, be a cool one to be in a Hall of Fame someday. Tony Allen. So I was watching a Kobe Bryant interview on Instagram, and they were saying how, well, he was saying how Tony Allen was the hardest person to ever play basketball against because he's just such a defensive juggernaut. I think six-time all-defensive team, which is really impressive. He might be the first Hall of Famer ever just getting defensive, uh, his defense accolades alone. I think him and Ben Wallace could be a good, could be good, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Examples of that, just defensive players. So we'll see if Tony Allen gets in. One of the best defensive basketball players to, I would say, ever exist in the NBA. Mario Williams, a guy who probably gets passed up on a lot. He is a four-time uh, Pro Bowler, which is nice. One of those key guys from 2006. This is numbered out of 999, and this is a quad patch auto. From 2006 to 2009 are really the years I was collecting as a kid, so this is just a special card for me in my collection. So i pick it up for 7 bucks. Why not? And this card, probably the most expensive in that collection uh i got this for what's like 12 bucks i think jimmy graham patch auto from tops unrivaled number out of 349 hopefully a hall of famer someday i think he has the accolades i do have a jimmy graham auto already but not a patch auto and at the show i wasn't really buying super much so i spent a little more time at tables that i kind of pass over usually and i picked up this card which i think is sweet really sweet looking it is a little thicker, so it has a little more damage than, you know, thinner cards. We'll never get this card graded or anything, but still, pretty good-looking card. And the last stack of cards is the last deal. Probably, I think this is my first deal of the day, actually. I ended up getting this stack for 45 bucks. I had priced at 60 He said 45 and that's right where I want it to be. And we have, I think, 5 Good baseball players. I'm buying a lot of baseball right now because it's the offseason. We have a Jeremy Pena. Well, I mean, not as much. I, I can I don't know. I'm stumbling over words because I'm so tired. I don't know how good he has been. His rookie year, he was really sought after. This was his sophomore year. He might have took a step back. I just haven't heard people talking about him. But Jeremy Pena, really cool. Got that number at 373. Toscar Hernandez. Number 25 out of 25 for 3 bucks. I thought that was pretty cool. I have his autograph in my collection already. Um, Tops Blunt, not really sought after, but 25 out of 25 for 3 bucks is a great deal. George Spreer, another guy. These are just low-numbered stuff to me. Uh, numbered out of 37 from the rookies. George Springer, multi-time all-star. Has like a war of like 40, so we'll see how he does in his late career. These next three cards are probably my favorite of the day. Yuri Perez, numbered out of 10. Oh, Lulu. My dog just walked in. She likes cards, too. Lulu. So we have a Yuri Perez out of 10. This is a nice patch from Immaculate. Um, probably about a $10 card. I got these per, pretty discounted. Uh, the people at the Endicott Card Show are really good with the pricing. So that was nice. Um, it is Panini, so it's not MLB certified, I guess. They don't have the licensing. But still, Yuri Prez had a really good year. And then my favorite. Now the Dodgers' newest acquired player. We have the Japanese Babe Ruth. So this is a parallel from 2000 and... 
what is it, 2000, what year is it? Oh, 2018 Diamond Kings. I have his Japanese parallel, which is written in Japanese. I have the black and white parallel. Uh, but now I have the Japanese Babe Ruth, which is a cool name. I think these were selling online for 40 bucks because they are a parallel. I just love the name of it, Japanese Babe Ruth, because that's what he really is. Pitches, he hits. Um, what's his role for the Dodgers going to be? I'm not sure. They have a lot of talent. They are favorites for the World Series already. So we will see. We'll see what that brings. If this card goes up, if this card goes down, might get graded. I don't know. But really one of my favorite cards of the day. And that is it. Like I said, didn't he have to buy a lot? Uh, it is, you know, the holiday season, so a lot of my finances are going to presents and decorations and all the fun stuff that, you know, people do at the holidays. Next Friday, I plan on going down to Scranton to a new card shop. They are technically a wholesale card shop, but I called the owner. The owner, well, technically the owner called me, and we talked for a little bit. So he's letting me come down and film, and I will show you guys that next weekend. But other than that, that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. This has been AZ Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.